Hey everybody, welcome back to Toxic Hate TV. My name is Alex, and today we're playing Alan Wake Episode 4. Uh, we just kind of woke up in this room, and I don't know what the hell is going on here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? <laughs> Are calm? we feeling better? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. I don't know, this the setting kinda reminds me of the movie with This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Thank you. This, this way, Alan. The setting kind of reminds me of the movie uh, Shutter Island. You know, if you ever saw that movie, you probably see it just as I do. You know, crazy people like this installation, and you don't know what's going on and whatnot. Now, All that jazz. Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is... Dead. What? No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, hmm. paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Yes, that's that's how it worked all the three episodes on. before. I wasn't ready for another <laughs> shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Sure. It's all in your head. But pretty. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. What your accident? Your are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic. I'm not concocting nature. anything you here. Know this. Everything can be explained logically. I see a coffee thermos up there. Well, I better get it the next time I'm here in this vicinity. <laughs> Although I don't really need it, but I presume there should be another page of my manuscript. And by the way, if I'm finding a manuscript page right here, it means that he's talking shit, right? Hmm, read. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, in memory of a dear friend and poet, whoever that might be. But it's pretty. And right now it is um what is it? What's what's the time? Oh, it's eleven o'clock probably in the morning. I, I can't really tell. It shouldn't be in the evening, unless we're on the North Pole or something in summer season. I never get tired of this view. Not Very really. Inspiring. Is, is that Cauldron Lake? Cauldron Lake spread yeah. below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Yeah, there's nothing. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, mm -hmm. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, that's gonna well, be... no matter. <laughs> this way, follow me. That will be too much now of a coincidence. Good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. 
Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly so. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Of banging you in the butt. No, sorry. <laughs> Come along. Let's go inside. He was just leaning over. Hmm. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. There's a man versus cougar or whatever it is. It's wonderful. Is it a bobcat? I don't know. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Pretty damn wonderful. I like the soundscape scary, back there. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Boy, sure you are crazy, man. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. Apparently not. Video Elbow games. strikes. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course, yeah. but yeah. it does involve some to small the head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. No kidding. Does that mean that game developers are crazy? I don't believe so. All those crazy people around here, man. All those crazy people. What up, man? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah, sure he does. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Really not. Let's follow Dr. Hartman. I Come think. On, this way. I don't want I, I want to get this coffee thermos somehow. But whatever. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We are here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ins uh, ensure they don't interfere with your therapy or and periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specially tailored for you. Engagement therapy, TM, and its sister method, the flow TM, works best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to voice them. Sure, sounds like brainwashed to me, man. There's a page. I want that. My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> There's a storm coming. Oh, what do we what have a here? Storm. I hope Night it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a. How should I put this? A heavy Isn't that metal Thor band with TH? in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. 
I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. They do seem to be like this, yes. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't for the think? better. Uh, what happened to no to your nose, by the way? They never I'd sucked like that. Bash his head in with a hammer. No, he no don't do that. Out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy Rock and roll. Fireman, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we? Zane? Bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Huh. A manuscript page. Awesome. Oh, sorry. Let's go back. It was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me. About everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. And if crazy people start making sense, then there's something terribly wrong with your life, man. Really, I'm, I'm just saying. That's staff only. That means I can't go in there. There's a coffee thermos right there. I'm going to read the page just as soon as possible. Let's read that poster here. The Creator Slammer. The engaging new book by Dr. Emily... <laughs> Emily Hartman. Dr. Emil Hartman. The author of the best-selling creative, creative flow. It's groundbreaking technique, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in its own words. Now available in books across the country. And also as a Kindle ebook. Um, well, let's look around here. Probably can't go around here. No, I didn't hey, think. Hey, wake! Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. Yep. You can get to your room by the those doors stairs, were locked. Wake. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. They probably would have the keys. I, uh, I'm just going on the couch. Yeah, sure. Why not? So we have to get a key to get out of this freaking building. Something's wrong. I'm See? Not myself. It's a mind fuck. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. I believe that's the you know these these sequences in the in the, in the TV are actually um, filmed with a camera, and I think the one that we just saw is actually the one. That was used. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Okay, uh, that was a real actor from which uh, the face is derived from. Me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do. What's with on the table? Watching me like a hawk. Oh yeah, night. Some is that an Xbox game? What the hell? Wow, Microsoft, you are lame. <laughs> what up, Lane? I'm just, you know, squishing through anyone, anyone's rooms here. Don't want to miss out on something. There's Anderson's room. On the other side of the thingabob, there was another door that we can probably not go through, but... Yeah. Alrighty, so we have a page to look Zane at. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. 
As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. So he's actually writing about Zane, and um, that is kind of confusing, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, let's start writing. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Whoa, what was that? Let's see. Oh, it was... It was just a thing, okay, sure. You're the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now! <gasps> that was the map. Why am I missing out on like the most obvious Hartman page? Talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Well, sure. Fast, Did something they? change around here? I, I presume not. So, I was just checking here. It's my <laughs> store. I'm taking it. Wow, you guys just had too much pot. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't love talk. The crazy old fart hit it hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get destiny. to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. The music perch. It's time to pay the price. Can I use that? Okay, well. Then I'll go to Dr. Hartman's office first. Now I can open that shed? Wait a minute. Do I have to approach this door as well, just like that? And. No. 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 Anyway. Moving along. Let's see what we have here. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. She said. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. 
The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah, he sure did. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Wasn't it? Well, apparently I can go through here, but let's open that. Is that Barry? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Sure we do. Let's open that lock. Or a key. Because we can. There's a gun. I want it. These and you're gonna grab it, mister. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Nice. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Really? My style. Hey, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Pistol whip him. Pistol whip him. Oh, Al, let's just go. Sure. Wait, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Now won't you believe me or what? Has it been disintegrated by that shatter shit? Oh brother! The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Yeah, the way out or Hartman reading that. The fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Within his reach, eh? So, the only way to go is here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> 